Hey guys, welcome back. It's Walter Davis here with uh, the Walter Davis Real Estate Group and of course uh, Keller Williams Professionals here in Spring, Texas. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about the $15,000 first time home buyer. Well, a lot of people are saying grant, but it's a tax credit. Um, that comes from the Biden plan that he put forth in, in regards to driving more first-time home owners into or for home buyers into buy homes and and more importantly giving them the opportunity to buy homes. So I took a couple notes here and you know I think what's important to note is that you got to understand kind of where the market is now in order to understand how this particular program will affect you. First off, you, I would like to mention that it hasn't been issued through the Congress yet. So, you know, it's not truly in effect yet, but it's one of those uh, promises that um, he, uh, he's guaranteed or pretty much assured that will get done. And for those of you that's been around for a little while, you're probably familiar. We had a first time home buyers grant um, that was a tax credit. In 2007 with George W. Bush and 2008 with uh, President Obama. And both of those respectively were $7,508,000. But this is the big difference that you see between those grants and what Biden is proposing in this new $15,000 grant. Is that those grants, you had to wait the next year to actually get the grant when you filed your taxes. It was a tax credit. So you wouldn't get the tax credit until the following year. So if I bought, let's say in 2008, I wouldn't get it until I filed my taxes in 2009. Okay. What they're trying to do with this particular grant is they're trying to make it instant, um, practically instantaneously, or what I always like to say is, is at the time of sale. So literally, when you go to buy your home and you get to closing, they want that $15,000 tax credit to be assessed at the point of closing, which is a huge difference because that means you have less money coming out of pocket. And the whole focus behind this is if we can help first-time home buyers not basically divulge or use all of their money that they've saved up in order to do a home buying transaction that in turn will help the home buyer not only in the short term to keep some money in savings um, and, and prolong uh, the life of their savings but it will also help in regards to really the longevity of the loan because now think about it like this if I have more savings I'm more secure in the case that I need to pay my mortgage note and things like that further down throughout the years okay so it makes sense and I believe it can be very impactful for those first-time home buyers out there that are considering buying a home now the other thing to keep in mind is a lot of people say well I bought a home already well, you know, the definition behind first-time home buyer that can take advantage of these programs out there is if you haven't owned a home or, or purchased a home in the last three years, um, then you're considered a first-time home buyer again, and you can actually take care, advantage of some of these programs. Of course, you got to qualify with the other stipulations within the program, but you're considered a first-time home buyer, so that's a good thing. I think it's also important to point out that with today's current market, now in Houston, I know all across the nation, everybody's market's a little different, but the one consensus that you're seeing nationally is that the market is not being affected as drastically as people thought it would be with this pandemic. Now, let me put that in perspective for you. We don't need to drive first time home buyers into buying a home because the market is already hot. But why this is so impactful, I think, and so um, um, such a positive thing for the first time home buyer is because if you can get these credits immediately, again, it keeps more money in your pocket 
for longevity, for savings. You're not completely emptying your bank account in order to pay for closing costs, down payment, etc., etc., etc. The last thing I wanted to point out on this is the other big thing on why it's so important for first time home buyers to not only consider buying a home, especially some of you guys that are in apartments that are already paying the mortgage amount um, in an apartment, is it allows, this program is built or really structured to help people, help families start to lay down their roots, really allow them to establish themselves into a neighborhood or a community. Um, and it's known, I mean, we can, we can read a lot of different um, articles about it that, you know, someone that owns their home has more pride in the community, has more pride on their property. Um, education for the kids are better. They feel more secure. Um, all of these things play a, a large role in the benefit to taking advantage of this $15,000 um, first time home buyer tax credit. Um, now, like I said, it's not all the way done yet, so you guys are going to have to stay tuned. And as I get more updates on it, I'll shoot out another video to tell you more about it. I'm pretty excited. If you are looking to maybe buy a home or maybe just looking to find out some more information about buying a home, maybe you're not ready just yet, which is okay, don't hesitate to give us a call. You can always reach us at 832 257 9083. You can of course email me. Um, if this video was helpful or if, you, if you'd like to stay in tune with some of the things that we um, bring out to educate you on real estate and give you more real estate resources overall, don't hesitate to like the button and then of course subscribe and you'll be the first ones to start to see what we bring out first. As always, stay blessed. Stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next week on Walter's Markets News. Walter's Markets News. <laughs> you guys have a nice one. See you then.